you can come onto a cathedral and just walk around it and look and go out. And God really hasn't been able to bless you because you haven't entered in. You've wandered. And I think that's exactly the same with art like Greg Trickers. This is art of serious spiritual beauty. And you've got to enter in. You've got to do your bit. Don't try and look at everything because it's just too much spiritual overload. Look at a few things. Greg Trickers is an art of very great tenderness, but very great strength, very great visual beauty, but very great spiritual power. So when we're looking at these marvelous works, they're not just to delight us. They're full of grace and truth and they're asking us to let God give us that grace and truth and draw us on Christ's journey with him. I think everything you've done here has great spiritual beauty. But this is the one that I like the best. Mm. But, and I think Jesus as the servant is what is so often forgotten. We think of him as Lord, and of course he mm. is Lord, as mm. he says, but mm. he's servant Lord. And he tells us that that's what we should be. Servants washing one another's feet. I think this feeling of serving was very strong here. I mean, I particularly loved this with the blue, almost raining, and with the water um, washing through this feeling. It's, um, it's almost this heavenly blue, but this, I suppose it's the humbleness of it. I think that's, like Sister Wendy, maybe there's, there was a feeling of very simple, Spartan, almost frail feeling of this serving and very plain and ordinary. Really it's this almost feeling of unimportance of just, you know, this, this path of serving. How long would it take you to work on that? A few days. A few days, that's all. Yes. It's usually, it's not the time physically to do something, it's like years and years yes. of building up, you that see, I'd because understand. if I'd done this a few years ago, it wouldn't happen like that. I wouldn't have maybe come to that realisation. Yes. And so It wasn't enough of you to receive no, that No, not a time, and it took me a year or so trying to find myself in the right space to even begin the work. This also is a wonderful one, the, your wonderful mm. concept of having only the head of Jesus in the yeah. agony in the garden. It's really difficult to say what time is. It might be years you, in one way, but, but when you have the inspiration then and the mood or the feeling of, ah, this is the piece of wood, this is the oak boat, you know, then we must be the boat in here. It it's maybe takes you a month or two, but to, to actually carve it, but it might take, it's taken years to come to the, the feeling of a Joseph and echoing the feeling of us in a journey yeah. all moving together. That's a wonderful comment you made that actually this is us, you know, it's like you made the jump to, because you used to be people saying, well, is this so and so, is this so and so, but actually it's us. It so it's a lovely, it was a really wonderful you said that. Mm. See, this is the thing about real art, you always see more. Mm. One always gets new insights into what it, what it is. Small art, you see the whole thing at once and you understand it and 
that's it. But large art, great art, you always go deeper. You never can say, oh, I understand it, and that's it. There's always a mystery to it, and I think that's very beautifully expressed here. And in another form, of course, in the stained glass version of it. And I love the fact that it was your wife who saw it needed to, to stand. To yes. stand. It mustn't just be on the floor. No, no, I wasn't sure quite how to put it, but she really felt we needed the proper thing. It was really. So it's lifted up from the earth like our Blessed yeah. Lord's cross, really. Yeah. It's strange, I've had so much response to the boat. More than anything, really, and I think... Well, I, I told you, I think it's the masterwork. <laughs> but it's, it's lovely that people have been able to live into that feeling, of the mystery, really, of, and some, they don't, of an impulse. And they don't have to make it explicit. No. One doesn't have to articulate to respond. In fact, sometimes it's too deep to articulate. Yeah, yeah. And I sometimes find it very painful, you know, to have to speak when you just want to look and commune at a deeper level. Yeah. Now, I find it difficult to look at crucifixes usually, mm. but I don't find it difficult to look at yours because you so expressed what his death meant. You know, it's not just pain, it's, it's, it's the pain of death put to the most wonderful purpose possible. He's redeeming us, he's taking us mm. all out of our darkness and receiving the glory of the, the heavenly lava flowing down. And lifting us up, yes. is it yeah. Mary Magdalene waiting, not even knowing that he's risen and her eyes are luminous with tears. Yeah. It's almost a deep sadness that it's almost felt for the world as well, yes. isn't it? It's, it's not personal. Yes. It is, I mean, very much with Christ. It, it also feels something we all, or people, can share in, yes. in their own way, isn't it? Mm. She's expressing what we should be feeling, but haven't the insight sometimes to know how we need Jesus. An empty cross is a, a, a cross that challenges us to fill it with the living Lord. Mm.